MedTrade is right around the corner. Hi, I'm Christina Morrison with MedTrade, and today I am joined with Jeff Baird and Miriam Lieber to talk a little bit about one of their sessions that they're going to be co-presenting together. I don't think that they need too much of an introduction because they are MedTrade veterans and have been around for a while. So we're excited to have them back for the conference this year. Jeff, Miriam, thank you so much for being here. Jeff, are you looking forward to the show in October? I really am. This is going to be the um, last show, at least in a while, uh, for a while in Atlanta. And then after this show, we move to Dallas. Um, and of course, that's exciting for me as, as a Texan. Um, but this being the last show in Atlanta, it's we're going all out to make this the best Atlanta show ever. And so I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I agree with you. The new schedule, there's a lot of new and exciting changes to, to definitely make it the success. Miriam, are you excited about the show as well? Obviously, I'm excited. I'm always excited. I have to say in particular this year with seeing everybody back in person and sort of wrapping up Atlanta, I feel like the two coinciding is just everything everybody would want. There's such a buzz out there now. And to be back in person, I think we have a newfound respect for that. And I'm really excited to be able to see all of my friends who are more like family all in one. So true. The med trade industry is definitely like family. I'm looking forward to that too. So Miriam, tell us about the session that you are co-presenting with Jeff. Uh, we've got the, it's on billing. Tell us a little bit about that. It's funny. It's on a little, it's called moving from billing assigned to non-assigned, which is something that Jeff and I, I think it almost feels instinctual at this point. I think it comes from within. I feel like Jeff will give you the legal side of it and I'm going to give you the quote practical and operational side of it. There'll be a little banter, a lot of banter back and forth and we'll be able to argue our points as necessary. Neither one of us will be shy. I promise you. I, I really think that it'll be chock full of information as always. And one other thing, Christina, you know, Everyone thinks, oh, we already know this. Well, there's a lot of newness to billing assigned and non-assigned, especially in light of the pandemic. And there's so much more we need to evaluate today. Yes, that's really important. Everybody can pick up some new some new things here at MedTrade as the industry continues to change. I don't know how uh, you know Jeff convinced you to to co-present the session with him, but I. Oh, I I'll never... tell you. I'll tell you. Jeff will tell you exactly how I convinced Miriam, <laughs> and that is, I'm on the um, Education Advisory Board, and we were putting together as a board what we think the best topics were, and. We felt like uh, billing, living from billing, assigned to not assigned was really important. And I know that I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to have the best of the best talking with me about it, you being my partner. And Miriam is the best of the best. And so I just uh, volunteered her to um, be my co-speaker and then she found out about it afterwards. And, and um, Miriam being a, um, a team player and being a good sport, she agreed to do this with me. So this is this is something where I kind of drafted Miriam to join me on this. Yeah, I think that's all too. being voluntold. Exactly. Voluntold. And I'm going to interrupt yes, you yes. to say, by the way, yes, I think that's called being left with no choice and trying to like make it sound really attractive and eloquent. So thank you very much, Jeff. No, I'm, I'm super excited about it. There's no You're reason. welcome. You're welcome. Exactly. And you're welcome. There you go. <laughs> And Miriam, what you'll find too, Christina, the group, the audience, that Miriam and I, we are not shrinking violets. And so we're going to talk about going back and forth with um, irreverent banter. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun. I think you're right. Well, the med trade attendees will be the winners in that. Yes. So, Jeff, what is one of the big takeaways that you really hope that the med trade attendees that attend this session are going to walk out of that classroom knowing? Yeah, the big thing is that Medicare has been around since 1965. The DME industry has been around since the mid-70s. And we have always been um, an assignment industry. That is, over the decades, DME companies uh, provide products and services, and they take assignment and get paid by Medicare. That was then. Now, um, the the customers for DMA companies are the aging baby boomers. And this is the Woodstock generation. Um, this is the generation that refuses to get old, uh, psychologically, emotionally, and, and even physically. And so baby boomers want to 
be running triathlons until they're 85 years old. They want to be going to Rolling Stones concerts until they're 85 years old. Christina, you're too young to know who the Rolling Stones are, but <laughs> Mary and I know exactly who they are, and most baby boomers do as well. And so <clears throat> the uh, boomers are, um, you know, many boomers are more than happy to pay cash for the Cadillac as opposed to um, letting Medicare pay for the, the Cavalier. And so there is a, there's truly an opportunity out there uh, for DME companies to serve the aging baby boomers. That's right. So you're going to be bringing that into the session and helping the providers find new ways to do business in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Wait, so are, you, are, you, are you telling me or are you asking? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm confirming. <laughs> because we, we, are ta- we are talking about the future and as you're, you're looking, MedTrade being here, this is the last time we're going to do it kind of at the end of the year in the fall until we move to the new format next year. Uh, providers are ending their year and also planning ahead for 2023. Uh, Miriam, what would you say are some of the other challenges that providers are are looking at into 2023? I mean, I actually think it coincides with what Jeff said, is like, what kind of, what will our business look like under the guise of additional baby boomers entering the business? You know, understanding contracting with payers and the difference between payers and assigned and non-assigned, which leads us right into this session, and also contending continuously with the notion that people still want to work remotely, and are we going to have staff hybriding, or are they going to be coming into the office now? And then finally, we have supply chain issues we hope will get resolved, but nonetheless, we have to make up for a lot of lost time. What do we do with that? What is the new landscape? And I think we have to really be looking forward to how we as businesses want to take part in that and if it's going to be collaborative or not consolidation continues to happen where do i fit in as i think what people are looking for with new and innovative ideas and ways of doing business that's what metrade is for the networking the education and the opportunities to see their friends again and i know that it's a challenge and yet i think every with every challenge there is opportunity so i see them as one and the same good point i i i I, of course i Everything she said, which was so eloquent, I wrote that for her and sent it to her. Um, but I, I totally agree with Marianne. <laughs> Me too. Make it to October, you know. <laughs> and Marianne, one more thing, Marianne. Let, let's let's just let's have some fun with Christina because she is a bit younger than us. So, Christina, I mentioned the Stones. They are the Rolling Stones. Okay, you're young. Yes. Tell me who the lead singer is for the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger. No. Okay, Marianne. I'm I am beginning to respect Christina. Nice. I'm impressed. <laughs> Yes. Okay. By the way, I sent her that information. See, I'm still cold. And don't tell anyone I sent that to you in advance. (laughs) Okay, you got it. Well, I'm going to get you a drink if they ask the experts. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. That'll be a Mountain Dew for Jeff. That'll be a Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew for me. That's exactly right. That's right. Well, thank you both so much. I know that our attendees are definitely looking forward to this session and the other sessions. So I would invite those who are watching, there is still time to register for the conference and the expo for MedTrade Atlanta. Jeff, Miriam, looking forward to seeing you both there and looking forward to seeing all of you. We'll see you in Atlanta.